Hello and uh, hope you are all keeping well, uh, safe and healthy, socially distant during this uh, troubled time. Uh, like myself, I'm sure most of you are extremely bored and uh, frustrated by waiting in one place for a long time. But let's keep ourselves occupied and make the most of the time we have at home. So I thought I was doing uh, something for you uh, in the form which I know best, which is photography. Uh, and I would uh, like to do a small course, uh, step by step, teaching you uh, how to use Adobe Lightroom and uh, use it as a tool for post-processing uh, of your wildlife images. And it's something which I've been wanting to do for some time because I notice though people use Lightroom quite often, it's not done correctly uh, for wildlife photography. Uh, the uh, secret uh, to that is simplicity and minimizing the use of some of the settings to make it as natural and simple as possible. So I will go through everything step by step uh, in the next few episodes and I hope that it's useful for you to edit some of your photographs and keep yourself occupied. So stay tuned uh, for the upcoming episodes. Okay, so as part one of uh, this course, uh, I would uh, start by showing you how to set up Adobe Lightroom. Um, so once you have installed Photoshop Lightroom, this is how you open it. Uh, uh, I just search for it and click to open. Remember that uh, Lightroom takes a lot of memory uh, of your PC. so Make sure that you don't have any other programs open to make uh, the process much faster. So once you've come to this page, um, you go to File, Import Photos and Videos. So now we assume that you have different folders of raw files uh, saved in your PC. So for example, if you just take this folder, Kabini that so then all the raw files would come in this list in this grid okay this option comes because if I have taken some videos I'm not going to edit videos on this I just say skip and right so all of this would come up um, the main thing advantage of using Lightroom is the the easy workflow so i'll just show just click import it takes a bit few minutes uh, if you have a lot of files uh, being raw files they are quite big as well so uh, it takes a few minutes to import all of this onto uh, onto the library um, just give it a bit of time and uh, Basically, uh, so this is the main workflow station where you're going to be doing uh, the post processing and uh, as the photographs get imported, uh, they'll show up at the bottom. Just give it a few minutes. Right, starting to come. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the photographs will start coming at the bottom and this folder will be in uh, the library of Lightroom so uh, even if you even if you close it and uh, want to do some work later on you can uh, open open it up and just go to the library and select uh, select the correct folder and you can start post processing uh, and the get go and it's easy to have all of these photographs lined up because for example as a wildlife photographer uh, being uh, being on the field and you more normally go on uh, multiple shots or burst mode and you might get several shots and you might like to keep a few of them 
uh, and this helps you to uh, just sort them out in one screen rather than uh, uploading one by one for example in uh, uh, Photoshop Raw uh, sorry in uh, Adobe Photoshop um, you can you have to convert it to a JPEG format and then <coughs> convert, basically upload one by one and do the editing which takes a bit of time this actually game makes your processing quite fast and efficient uh, it has basically the same settings as Photoshop but uh, less uh, of the fancy effects but uh, this is more than enough for wildlife photography uh, I would advise uh, if you're uh, before up saving it to your PC or laptop or hard disk uh, to go through the images on the camera itself and uh, just save what is needed and what you think is worth using rather than uh, saving everything from blurry shots to badly focused shots to uh, overexpose, underexpose images which you cannot use. Uh, it's just no point just uh, using any of your disk space. Uh, you rather delete them on the camera itself. Uh, one of the easy ways which uh, I can tell you, uh, which I use uh, in a camera uh, is in Canon, for example, yeah, when you go to settings, uh, there is one option called protect images and uh, I select that and I select all the good images uh, on the camera itself and uh, that helps to basically uh, you know say protect the good images and uh, then what I do is I select the option where you delete uh, what you don't need so basically once you after you protect everything you just say uh, uh, clean up the whole hard disk, uh, whole uh, memory card and all the unwanted images will get deleted while the protected images would remain and uh, then you can just can, uh, transfer all of that to your hard disk and uh, once you're done transferring it to your hard disk you can uh, simply unprotect, select unprotect all and uh, delete the images in the camera. So these are some of the final like shots which I have saved uh, and protected and uh, transferred to my hard disk. Uh, this is from a trip to Kabini. I'm just giving you an example how to upload all of this. So this is all this is all raw images which have been uploaded. So you, for example, I'll just upload another file, another folder. Sorry, it's not upload, it's the word is import, right? Uh, Kaziranga, okay. And I'll just show you where it's saved. If you go here in the library. So you go to Kabini. It's saved already in the library. So if you go to Kabini, you can go. As you see, okay. So you got you you can go to the library where you have uploaded your Kabini images. Or you can go to Kaziranga, it's still uploading. So if you go to Kabini. takes a bit of time because as, as I said uh, it takes a lot of memory from your PC uh, all of these categories so if you want to select an image to edit just double click it and then you go to develop okay so uh, part one is about up, how do you import images onto Lightroom and uh, we'll go step by step so that uh, we cover all the areas uh, in the next episode uh, so stay tuned uh, the next episode we will be covering uh, how to crop uh, images uh, on Lightroom and different techniques of cropping uh, depending on the style of image so stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching